All right, come on. Come on, big money, big money. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Oh, uh, well, not so bad, right? Still has a chance of being something good. Isaac got a burning axe. All right. That's kind of what I was aiming for. Let's see if we can put this on Garrett. I'll take it. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Golden Sun. My name is Dario. And I was just doing a little bit of uh, gambling here. Um, let's see what this guy says. Ah, oh, I guess I don't have very much luck. How about you? I just keep losing coins, but I can't stop. What's wrong with me? So anyway, uh, that was the Toby Spring, as I showed in the last part. And there's a, I, I'll show the table again. There's a lot of things you can win from it. Um, you can easily waste a lot of time there. Whether or not it's worth your time to, to try to win all the items, I mean, that's debatable. Um, I guess as a fun fact, one of the best items you could win there is the uh, uh, the Ninja Hood, because it increases your agility by 20, which, you know, if you grind hard enough, you know, armor won't be that much of an issue, so you could always, you know, but that 20% agility increase is always high, so, you know, that's something to look forward to, but it takes a lot of time. I mean, it'd be really cool. It's a really cool payoff, because you'll be uber powerful, but I kind of just like letting the cards fall where they lie. I've been betting on the lucky glass for many years, but I've never won. I, I'd like just to hit a, uh, I'd like to hit it big just once in my life. I'm feeling confident this time. I'm sure I'll get it. Colossus' lucky guess makes the battles in the Colosseum better. Everyone keeps risking more and more, so the prize is huge. If a warrior that wins, if a warrior that few people picked wins, they'll win big. So it's basically just betting. Get the idea. Do you know what lucky guess is? Yeah, I mean, I got a pretty good idea now. Entrants can't pick their own team members. That way, the matches won't be fixed. So, we got some gambling, and then here's the long-ass line into Col uh, Colosso right now. The one the preliminary Col Colosso heats right now. The winners of the trial will advance to the finals. A lot of... Oh, man. You know, that, once again, just something I love about this game is just, like, how, you know, real the world feels. Sigh. The Colosseum is packed with people. I'll never get in there. Having to having to arrive so early just to get into the Coliseum is awful. Alright, well, there doesn't seem much we could do here. I mean, we had a good forewarning. I mean, I guess if we wait in line. You know, is this one of those things where, like, if we wait long enough, like, you, you, you keep the system on, like, for, for 30 days, like... You know what? Never mind. That's stupid. Alright, so... Time to go back over here to the stairs. If this guy moves. Um, see where this place leads. Babby's Palace. Oh crap, I just realized I wanted to sell that Vulcan Axe. Oh wait, I did, didn't I? Wow. Babby's Palace. Alright. Gotta love that regal theme as always. Isaac peered into the well. It's filled with fresh, clean water. It's a good place to dump a body. Some of the rooms in the palace are available to Colosso Entrance. You should be thankful Lord Babby is such a generous, gracious host. I wonder how many people will stay here at Babby's Palace after Colosso. Normally, no one is allowed into Babby's Palace, but during Colosso, visitors are free to enter. Should the palace really be open to the public under some circumstances? So, we got anything else we can sneak back here? I feel like there would be something in these metal boxes, but whatever. Alright, let's go inside the palace, see what we can find. Did you run into Babby's soldiers in town? A few of them. That means they must not have found him yet. What do you know, old man? I wonder how diligent Babby's soldiers are looking for him. We just have enough extra beds in the room for everybody. Please follow me. Oh, okay. You may use these four beds. Will you be going right to sleep? Then enjoy your rest. Works for me. Would you like to sleep now? <laughs> Imagine if in real life, like, you, I like, had to walk up to your bed and just, like, that prompt appears. Oh, I'm so tired. I didn't think we'd ever find a place to stay. What a relief. Okay, well, I don't know why I gave Ivan that feminine voice. Sorry, man. Let's rest up for tomorrow. 
All right, everybody. One, two, three. Good night. Good night. Sleep well. Aw, oh, man. I thought we were all going to jump into bed together, like, synchronized. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, look at these. They're all, like, little friends saying good morning. Good night. They love each other. All right, Isaac. We got another hard day of work ahead of us. Oh, these are my friends, and we're all rested and healed up. Oh. Oh, uh. Okay, I didn't know people were over here. Are you planning to enter Colosso? No. So, did you guys get injured too? Getting injured just before the trials begin is the worst. I get so angry seeing all the warriors go off to fight in Colosso. I hurt my back during training, and now I can't move at all. Oh, poor fellow. Better leave right away then, the trial's already on the way. Go on to the Coliseum. Uh, I can't fight because of a little indigestion? That's pathetic. Maybe I can shrug this pain off in my gut. I have to enter Colosso. It's no use! My stomach really hurts! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Anyways. Oh dang it, why did I talk to him again? No, I regret this. I don't want to hear his diarrhea again. My stomach really hurt! <laughs> okay, I gotta stop. I'm like, I'm like fucking two years old. Maybe I shouldn't have eaten quite so much yesterday. <laughs> Is anybody even watching this? I don't blame you if you're not. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's see what's up this tower. Nothing! My favorite thing. Oh, sweet, we got another lucky medal. Have to try our luck again later. Uh, we already went up there. Let's check upstairs now. God, man. You know what's crazy is that in other RPGs like Pokemon or even like what classic ones like Final Fantasy VII, like I don't recall there being so many rooms to explore. I mean, maybe if you go into earlier Final Fantasies, but even then, I remember them only like like you'll go into a town and there's like two houses you can enter or something like. This is wild, like, you can talk to so many people and do so many things, like, it's crazy. There's a notebook that shows the records for the dice game. Its owner seems to have lost a lot of money playing dice. And then you got cool things like this, just like flavor text of just looking at cabinets. There's a lot of unused dice, or a lot of used dice rolling around. Although, when you kind of think about it, this is kind of a like an odd layout for a room, like, why is the the fireplace, like, tucked all the way in the corner here, like, like, it, does it work, like, through convection, like, does the heat, like, travel out of that little corridor, like, to the, you know, to the bigger room? Like, like, imagine being, like, l like, having, like, uh, you know, less than an arm's length of, of space between you and the fireplace, like, ah, ah, that feels nice right there. I don't know. Only warriors who fight well in Colossus' finals can become soldiers here. All the warriors enter Colossus because they want to join our ranks. My first Colossus was so exciting. I bet the battles will get pretty heated this year. Babby's name is riding on the construction of his lighthouse. It's a huge undertaking, which is why the guard around the lighthouse is so tight. We'd never get near the lighthouse without these passes from Eodum. Hmm. Even if Lord Babby doesn't return, the campaign to build Babby Lighthouse will go on. I won't be able to relax until we know where Babby is. I hear that girl is going... I hear that girl is going on the next campaign. What could it mean? Lord Babby's building lighthouses is his way of his power. Once lighthouse is about Babby's name will live forever. So, as we also saw in the last part, this guy, Babby, Lord Babby, who the Lord of Tolby, is building this lighthouse... Is there a relation to the lighthouse that we've been chasing? Uh, you know, the lighthouses that we've been after? I guess we'll find out. There's a book entitled, Become a Macho Man in 12 Easy Steps. All these warriors seem to like weight training. Isaac searches shelf. There's a headband. It says, Believe it! Never give up! Go for the win! Alright. Okay, I gotta do something. Like, I've been, I've been goofing off way too much here. We gotta get... Oh, look, thank God the, the story caught up to us. Yodum! Yodum! 
We went to Altmiller Cave as you commanded. And what have you? What news is there of Babby? This is futile. Yodam, why did you send us to look for Babby in a place like that? Why would Lord Babby enter such a dangerous cave alone? It's... Inconceivable? Is that what you were going to say? Altmiller, is an, Altmiller Cave is an evil place. If Babby went in there alone, a monster might have... I'm aware of Altmiller Cave's eccentricities. You knew? Then why would you send us in there, Iotum? Lord Babby has left in secret before. You mean, this isn't the first time Lord Babby has disappeared, Iotum? Do you know where he went before? I followed Lord Babby once. I was certain he had gone into Altmiller Cave. Did you un Okay, can you stop saying this guy's name? Jeez. Did you ever investigate the cave, Yoda? What was he doing in the cave? Once he entered the cave, Lord Babby vanished before my very eyes. Vanished? You mean, you lost sight of Lord Babby? Is that it? After he entered the mouth of the cave, I followed him, but he had vanished, leaving no trace. I tried following him several times after that. Each time, he vanished within seconds of entering the cave's mouth. And you think that's where Lord Babby went this morning, you? But if he always returned from Altmiller Cave before, then he should be back soon, right? No, this is time is different. Something puzzles me. What do you mean? It is certainly strange that Lord Babby should go right before Colossal Colosso, but there's something else. What is it? Lord Babby's bedding was not disturbed this morning. What's unusual about that? Last night, Lord Babby did not use his bed. That is the problem. Lord Babby has in fact been missing since last night. And that is why I'm so worried. He has never done this before. We didn't know he'd been missing for so long. You don't think Lord Babby's been ki- Speak of no such foolishness! I'm sure Lord Babby is alive and well somewhere. Ah, yes, of course. I will go to the Colosseum and Lord Babby's stay steed. You must find him. We will all conduct another round of searches. Lord Babby, where have you gone? All right, so we finally have a little bit of a more broader picture of Tolby's ruler, Babby, painted for us. Uh, appears he went to Altmiller Cave. Uh, he's done this before, but now this time he hasn't returned for whatever reason, so... Pretty sure you can tell what's going to happen from here on out. We're going to have to go try to find him. What's down here? What the hell? Originally, there were ancient ruins at the site of Babby Lighthouse. There is said to be an extremely long tunnel beneath those ruins. No one has ever reached the end of the tunnel in the ancient, ru in the ancient ruins. I'd sure like to know what's at the end of that tunnel. I mean, how many times I run the experiment, I never get the results. I want. I never get the results I want. My alchemy skills have weakened, as Craden warned me they would. Craden, you know Craden. Still, my experiments in alchemy are progressing better than before. Maybe Craden's research. It is said that long ago the power of alchemy was sealed away, but why would it have been sealed away? Craden's journey was meant to revive the lost art of alchemy. We can hope, of course, that he can explain why it had to be sealed away too. Babby makes his scholars perform all sorts of research. I wonder where Babby's favorite scholar, Craden, is now. Lord Babby's expected great results from Craden's journey. I wonder what he expected Craden to learn from that research. 
Originally, the ancient Venus ruins lay beneath under Babby Lighthouse. The Venus ruins are remnants of magnificent ancient civilization. The lighthouse is being built upon the foundation of the Venus ruins. Alright, let's check this tower. Oh, who is this guy? Sheba has been staying as Lord Babby's guest for some time. She comes from the town of Laver La Lalivero on the Gondawan continent. Sheba was taken hostage to force the Laverans to build Babby Lighthouse. It is heartbreaking to see her tears and hear her pleas be released to be released. Whoa, okay, hold on a second. Hold, hold. So wait, wait, hold on. So Babby kidnapped this girl called Sheba to force people to. Oh, this guy's an asshole. Is she in here? Oh, she is in here. Babby is holding me hostage in order to complete the lighthouse in, Laver in his lighthouse in Lalivero. When shall I ever be able to return to my homeland? Even if I escape Babby Palace, my power could not get me to Lalivero. It would be impossible for me to make it through the Delhi Sahala alone. Did you just? No, it is nothing. Hmm. Sheba was revered was revered as a child of the gods in her hometown, but she looks like an average child to me. Sheba is not permitted to leave this room, child of the gods or not. I do not think she can make it to Gondawan alone. What is going on here? <laughs> okay, so oh jeez. All right, so I'll sum everything up later. Let's just. There's just so much happening. We haven't even gone through the main doors of the palace yet. I'm the ruler of Tolby now. All right. What's over here? It looks like Lord, your Lord Babby didn't use his bed this morning. What does it mean? I guess Lord Babby did not go to sleep last night. Check his bookcase. Hey, it's Babby's diary. It reads, This Colosso may be my last. Oh boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so... Oh, oh I don't even know where to start. Okay, so I'm just... Okay. I, I gotta sit down the control right here. Okay, so... We made it to the town of Tolby, right? That's where we made it. We explored the town. There's this thing called... There's this event called Colosso going on. Colosso is where a bunch of fighters come together and fight. It's like a Colosseum fighting thing. Hugely popular. A bunch of tourists come here. That's why there was a bunch of tourists from Kale wanting to come here. As well as not just Kale, but just all over the world too. Just a bunch of people wanted to come here. So that's kind of why we came here. Because that's where everyone else was going. And also we had to get across to get to Gondawan. Because that's presumably where the next lighthouse is. Anyways... So we come to Tolby, we find out that Tolby is ruled by this guy named Babby, who not only has been in charge of Tolby, according to some people, for like over a hundred years, he also is now missing in this place called Alt Miller Cave. What Babby's also doing, you know, what, what he was also doing in between all that, was building this place called Babby Lighthouse on top of some old ru Venus ruins. Venus being an element, Venus being something we have to look towards since, you know, we're trying to stop Satros and Minardi, Felix and everybody. So we're on their tail still, and connections all around. Anyways, so Babby Lighthouse on top of some old Venus ruins. In order to get people to build his lighthouse, he kidnapped this girl called Sheba, who we just met, against her will to force the Lalivarans to help build his lighthouse along with his people. And then also, on top of that, he appears to have an alchemy lab at the bottom of his palace, and there's words being mentioned of Kraden, Kraden being our teacher, you know, who taught us how to use synergy. And so, Babby apparently knows Kraden, or, like, according to that one guy, he said, uh, uh Kraid he sent Kraden out on his journey to learn alchemy. So, does that sum everything up, I think? I, I don't think I'm missing anything. So, with that being said, we're gonna have to 
in the next part, <laughs> go to Alt Miller Cave to find Babby to find out how the hell he connects to everything here. I'll see you guys then.